Greetings. I got a good story I want to share real quick. I remember coming here in 2008. And I did a, you know, did a walk tour of your house and everything. And that's how we met. And then I, I came back a few years later and, uh, and you know, I kept on coming back and here you are. So I want to say greetings my brother, greetings my elder. And you're live on Revolutionary Cam. Just want you to share some encouragement as far as uh, your experience on living and doing business in Africa and your connection with the African American Association of Ghana. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. I've been here for 18 years. I moved here in 2004. The first time I hit the continent was in 2000. I'd never been to Africa before in my life. I graduated high school in 66. But I knew nothing about Africa. They taught us nothing about Africa. You know, I'm sure you all remember, you were young enough when you talk about uh, Black History Month, maybe. We had Black History Week. And I got tired of doing, um, what's the fellow, the, the, the peanuts? Um, Carver. I got tired of being Carver every year at the program, you know, every year for one week. But uh, I knew nothing about, even when I went to college, I went to the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. There was no uh, black history studies at all. It was uh, Western uh, uh, history, which was nothing. I, did, I wasn't interested in it. So I got maybe a B or C out of it, but I wasn't interested in it. But since I have come here in 2000, my whole life has changed. The only sad thing is that my mom and dad both were deceased, and I could not bring them here, because they would have loved it here. They would have loved it here. And to come here and um, see these people, um, and well, our people, really, and it, it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Your whole lifestyle changed. Everything. You think differently. You don't worry about, yes, you have bad roads or this, that, and the other, but that's not the whole thing about it. It's the people. Your people being in this this country, I'm telling you, will really change your entire life. Food, you can look out there now, you look at, you think it's grass or weeds. It's not, it's medicine. Some of you may have remembered your grandparents, uh, mother going out and bringing something in when you had a cold or sick or something like that. You can do that here all the time. Most of the stuff that you take, medicine there comes from here because they but they put so much mess into it that it really doesn't do you any good and it's detrimental to the rest of your body anyway but um i've lived here for i said 18 years i'm uh, about 500 yards from the uh, atlantic ocean and i love my house and it's peaceful it's quiet there um and uh, i live near willie he's my brother so we both came about the same time and um I'm a member of the African American Association of Ghana. I was a president there for a while. Um, and I see you all come and go. But I'm saying to you, if you want to change, come. You need to come. Take your time and take a look at what you want. And if you want to get away from that, because you have, some of you have children, and all this stuff that's going on in the States now, you know, somebody walks into your neighborhood and kills 20 people in your neighborhood, that's not, you know, something's wrong with that. That's big stuff. That's a mess. They used to hang us. Now they walk into our community and shoot us to death. 18 years old. So, you know, if an 18-year-old shoots you to death, what had their parents taught them when they were children? That's crazy. That's crazy. So, I'm glad to see you here. Come back. This young man is bringing people here for quite some time now. And, uh, I'm sure that some some others maybe that he's brought here have now made their home here or oh, yes. contemplating doing so. But it's nothing like being here and, and your own people. Trust me. I rode down the streets here in, in a crowd when I first got here and I looked out the window and I could see people that looked like me and looked like somebody I thought I knew. You know, I do. These are my people. You know, we were never taught about here where we came from and so forth. We built that country over there. We did it. Because when we got tired of pulling stuff up the hill, we came up with a way to get it up the hill. They stole that. They wrote, you know, patent on it. They're getting the money. They're still living off of the money that we put together. We intelligent people. You're smart. You're bright. Go back home. Continue to, uh, you know, access your mind and your children or grandchildren because they're bright. They're smart. 
If you look on, on the internet even, they talk about these young kids that are seven and eight years old going off to college because they're geniuses. Here, I didn't take the shot because I'm never, and I don't wear masks because we're on plant-based food. All our food grows here. It's what they put in your food there that you eat. And I'm not about to let them shoot me in my arm because you know what happened with the syphilis mess in the state. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. So I'm here. I love it here. And I'll never go back to, to the state. When I die, I don't even want to be buried there. Cremate me, put some ashes in the water, take some ashes to put back on my mother and father's grave, and that's it. That's it. So I'm here for good for the rest of my life. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Yep. And I have a question too now. Again, now where did you grow up? Where are you from? I grew up in Maryland, about 25 miles outside of Washington, D.C. Yeah. So, uh, did you used to take people on tours at the WB the Bowl Center? I've done a couple of I'm trying to see who, because you look like the guy I met when I was here in 2019 in um, August. Was he handsome? Oh! <laughs> 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 he look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he, at that time, the young man told me he was there for 15 years. Okay. So that, to, oh, he looks like yeah. Yeah. It could have been oh. me. could have been me. could have been me. Because we have our meetings here at the W.E. Boys Center. Yeah, because I came and then I went to go to the center. Oh, because I was going to join. Because I tried to join online and then it was some problems. And so I was going to see them. And then they told me that the lady had just gone and she's not there every day. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to move on. Yes. Well, I'll be here. a group of women that had married their men. They came here and they formed a group because, you know, to help one another out to make them. And it's just it's grown. And the more people that are moving now, uh, the organization has grown like mad. In fact, they had a 30, 30 year anniversary, and we had a big celebration at the hotel here in, in the Friday. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Do you happen to know like the days there? Because I plan to go back over there while I'm here because I'm here for a while. Yeah, at the Du Bois Center. Right, right there. And we meet, we meet every third Sunday. Uh, and the fact that we're just here this month, and, and um, um, for the Triple AG meeting, and it was awesome. It was really interesting. What is the time? It's, uh, two two o'clock in the afternoon. And they're not there. Their hours are not consistent during the week, right? Well, you can go anytime there because there's, there's a, there's a um, during the week there's, there's a shop there where you can buy like um, all kinds of African re uh, revealers, whatnot, you know. Because when we went, they said it was cold shit. Just left. Okay. And the guy yeah. that do the carving and stuff. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. But uh, they, they, obviously, if you get there anyway before one o'clock or something like that, it'll be open. It'll be open for you to go and take a look at what they have here. And ask any questions, you know, that you have them. They will answer your questions. So, but any questions that you have, ask the questions. And, and uh, he knows how to get in touch with us. You want more oh, questions? Yes, we got you. Okay, all right. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Hook, we will hook you up. That's right. Thank you. So You're welcome. It. Anybody have any other questions? Oh, where did you say you grew up at? Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C. Charles County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I was born in Baltimore. In Alexandria, I have family. In Alexandria, Virginia? Oh, okay, okay. All over the place. Yeah, I was born in uh, John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, family. Straight from America, returning back to the motherland. There you strong. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, nice talking with you. Come on back. Come on back. Appreciate your encouragement and everything. You're welcome. It's a family. It is family. Connect with us and we'll get you connected to the repatriation energy here in Ghana.